Part of the reason many of us get fast food is because we didn't plan ahead. Pretty soon, that impulse could cost us. At least if you're craving a Frosty and Fries. A new AI-powered menu at Wendy's means you may be paying more for your Baconator fries or Dave's triple burger, depending on when you pop in. The company is calling it a dynamic pricing system, and it's set to be rolled out early next year. It's like Uber's surge pricing, except your lunch is more expensive during the rush. Using AI, Wendy says prices will go up or down depending on factors like demand, time of day, and weather. The change comes as many fast food chains have seen sales dip. With the new concept, Wendy's is trying to buck that trend and increase profits. The company claims the inclusion of AI on digital menu boards will lead to more accurate orders for customers with less chance of human error. CEO Kirk Tanner says the pricing may also encourage people to grab a bite when customer traffic is traditionally slow. But some aren't buying the idea. An associate professor of economics told the Daily Mail, ultimately, the biggest losers would be lunchtime customers. If people feel like they're getting gouged, they're not gonna take kindly to this dynamic pricing strategy. And his prediction may be correct. One ex-user posted, surge pricing is just price gouging by any other name. We really don't have to put up with these companies price gouging us, go anywhere else. And when it comes to pricing, Wendy's already has a reputation. The fast food chain is reportedly the most expensive in the US as menu prices rose 35% between 2022 and 2023, according to Pricelisto data. They're not the only one. McDonald's also raised prices. The New York Post reported the chain charged nearly 18 bucks for a Big Mac combo at some locations and increased prices for other items. Some lower income customers reportedly stopped going to McDonald's because of the jump in prices. And McDonald's reported lower earnings than expected for its fourth quarter. McDonald's CEO responded to customer backlash saying the restaurant is more focused on affordability for 2024. Meanwhile, Taco Bell is leaning into its value menu, promoting 10 items for $3. And KFC is launching its first loyalty program. Wendy says installing its new dynamic pricing and digital menus will cost around $20 million.